Hi, my name is JJ McGinnis with the National Endowment for Financial Education. Welcome to National Harbor, Maryland. My name is Candice Maiden. I am an accounting instructor at the Jackson State University, and I'm also an oversight professor for SFEPD's ambassador program. So I'm a huge advocate for financial literacy. So once I started working in academics uh, at Jackson State University, I was offered an opportunity to do what I normally do, and that's uh, recruit students to help other students with uh, financial literacy. Uh, so. That's why I joined the program. Absolutely. Um, again, I think financial literacy is highly important. A lot of young adults don't even have the basic uh, information as far as personal finance is concerned. We don't know how to budget, save, invest, or any of those uh, things. We often depend on our family unit to give us that education. But of course we know a lot of the times the education is in the school system. Um, so I think it's imperative that the school system just kind of take on that additional responsibility and make financial literacy a, um, a, a requirement for graduation. I just personal experience, I know that the school that my son attends offers a financial literacy or financial education course as part of their, I guess, senior uh, graduation requirement. Uh, and I just thought it was so effective because he came home with lots of questions, even though we've had those conversations in the home, uh, just reiterating it in the classroom made him come home and ask uh, even deeper questions about finances. So I'm absolutely an advocate for it being done in high school. We actually have a strategy that we do and we start with budgeting and then we go into the saving and investing. Uh, we start with budgeting most importantly because um, I work in the College of Business and we always teach financial planning. So it just makes sense to start with budgeting. Um, but I, I just personally feel we need to have a plan for our money, let our um, values pretty much tell us what we should do with our money. Uh, so we just, we stress, we stress what to do with your money more so than we stress um, investing it or saving it because that is the critical component is okay, I have $50 or whatever it is. It doesn't matter the amount of money is what we try to stress. It doesn't matter the amount of money. Tell your money where to go. And I think if we instill that basic principle in them first, uh, then it opens up the door for us to share, you know, other things about investing and, and saving uh, and just in debt and credit and all the other elements of financial uh, education. But we we stand firm in, in, in getting them that basic foundation of uh, budgeting or financial planning first. I guess for a college student, I want to say budget because our theme is budget, save, invest. <laughs> uh, uh, but if I think further, um, our college students should definitely have an understanding of uh, credit and debt management. Uh, uh, although we emphasize budgeting, during that budgeting process, we also remind them of what's going to hit them as soon as they get their degree. Uh, and that is that student loan debt, and also uh, just maintaining it and other, other um, accounts that they may have to ensure that they have um, an adequate credit score so they can attain certain things in life that they need in order to uh, you know, be successful uh, or just, you know, be productive in life. Uh, so I guess if I were to pinpoint three elements of financial literacy, it would be budgeting, debt management, and credit management. At Jackson State University, we've been afforded the opportunity to have a financial wellness center. I feel the impact on the students is that they are exposed to it on a daily basis. Uh, it's not just when we announce that we're having a peer-to-peer -peer workshop. They're passing by this particular center with all of the um, markings of financial literacy and money and, and, and all those things. They're passing by the center every day. So to me, 
seeing it uh, will just maybe spark some interest in them every single day and give them the opportunity to keep financial literacy on their minds. To learn more, visit nefi.org.